Hello my dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to describe research aptitude. My first question is, research is option A, a purposeful systematic activity B, conducted for purely academic purpose, C, conducted to answer questions about practical issue, D, a random unplanned process of discovery. Here option A is answers a purposeful systematic activity. Next question, a research is always a verifying the old knowledge, b exploring new knowledge, c filling the gaps between the knowledge, d all of these. Here answer option d all of these. Next question, a good research aims at option a betterment of the society, b developing generalization theory and principles, C. Solving routine problem. D. None of these. Here option B is the answer. Developing generalization theories and principles. Next question. The idea that knowledge comes from experience is rationalizations. B. Deductive reasoning. C. Logic. D. Empiricism. Here the answer is correct. Empiricism. Next question. A theory is defined as option A, a set of systematically related statements, B, law-like generalizations, C, both A and B, D, none of these. Here option C is correct, both A and B. Next, epistemology refers to option A, a term specially used in the social science, B, a term used to study type of disease. C option acceptable level of knowledge in in a field of study D a type of interviewing technique here options is the correct answers acceptable level of knowledge in a field of study next question which of the following is a function of theory option A integrating and summarizing current knowledge B making predictions C. Explaining phenomena. D. All of these. Here option B is correct. Making predictions. Next question. Which of the following terms explain the idea that knowledge comes from experience? Option A. Rationalism. B. Empiricism. B. Logic. D. Deductions. Here option B is correct answer. Next question. Metaphysics means Option A, a branch of physics. Option B, exploring nature of ultimate reality. Option C, physics of metals. D, physics of weather. Here option B is the correct answer. Exploring the nature of ultimate reality. Next question. The quality of research is judged by. Option A, relevance of research. B, Methodology adopted in conducting the research, D, depth of research, D, experience of research. Here option B is the correct answer. Methodology adopted in conducting the research. Next question. Which of the following descriptions is true in the context of the de defining theory? Option A, an organized body of the concepts and principles intended to explain a particular phenomenon b tentative explanations that new data either support do not support option c act to drive further research d none of this here option is the correct answers or the an organized body of concept and principles intended to explain a particular phenomenon next questions Research can be conducted by a person who, option A, has studied research methodologies, B, hold a postgraduate degree, C, possess thinking and reasoning ability, D, is a hard worker. Here, option C is the correct answer, possess thinking and reasoning ability. Next question. The best quality of research is, option A, curiosity, B, active imagination, C, ability, D, all of these. Here, option D is correct answer. Next question. The research of building up information from 
piece of information is known as option A analysis, B a synthesis, C is synopsis, D none of these. Here option B is correct answer is synthesis. Next question. The result of setting out a reasoned argument in step is known as option A comparison, B a debate, C an evolution, D an analysis. Here option C is correct answer and evolution. Next question. A research is generally expected to option A study the existing literature in a field. B generate new principles and theory. C synthesize different ideas. D none of the above. Here option B is correct answer. Generate new principles and theories. Next question. What do you consider as the main aim of interdisciplinary research? Option A to bring out holistic approach to research. B to reduce the emphasis of a single subject in a research domain. C to oversimplify the problem of research. D to create a new trend in research methodology. Here option is correct answer to bring out holistic approach to research. Next question. One of the essential characteristics of the research is Option A, replicability, B, generalizability, C, usability, D, none of these. Here, option B is correct answer, generalizability. Next question. The depth of any research can be judged by Option A, title of the research, B, objective of the research, C, total expenditure of the research, D, duration of the research. Here, option B is the correct answer, objective of the research. Next question. An empiricist believes that option A, natural science method should not be applied to social science research. B, social science method cannot be applied in a natural science. C, knowledge is acquired through our sensory perception. Option D, none of this. Here, option C is the correct answer. Knowledge C is acquired through our sensory perception. Next question. The experimental study is based on Option A, law of single variable, B, manipulations, C, both A and B, and D, none of these. Here, option C is the correct answer, both A and B. Next question. What is the position held by positives as far as acquiring knowledge is concerned? Option A, a general positive attitude toward research. B, scientific research should be based on value-free empirical observations. C, exact knowledge can be acquired from the society d none of this here option b is the correct answer scientific research should be based on value free empirical observations next question the approach which is based on the as assumptions that the social phenomena can be explained by observing cause and effect is option a positive positivism b interpretism c qualitative d none of this here, option is the correct answer, positive results. And the next question, an ontological question is usually about option A, diagnosis of a medical problem, B, study of things outside ourselves and external reality, C, use of questionnaires or interviews in project, D, acceptable level of knowledge. Here, option B is the correct answer, study of things outside ourselves and external reality. I hope you like this video if you want more video kindly subscribe my channels thank you very much